We can get really overloaded by the amount of things that we want to improve. There are all sorts of things you may want to improve upon. So how do you decide where to start? I'm big on simplicity. I'm big on eliminating most of the choices so that you can focus just on the very best uses of your time. And if you're thinking, how do I decide what to focus on? I would say focus on the keystone habit. And a keystone habit is a routine or ritual that ripples into the rest of your life. It creates a cascade of good behavior. So for myself, my keystone habit is working out. I know that if I work out, I get the benefits of exercise, sure, but I also tend to focus better. I have this period of like high focus, the post-workout high for an hour or so afterward. I sleep better that night because I am tired and exhausted and have worked myself physically, which means I wake up the next day with better energy, which means I focus better then. And I also tend to eat better just because I feel like, oh, I worked out, so I don't want to waste it. So I actually eat worse when I don't work out and eat better when I do. Now, at no point was I trying to build better nutrition habits or better focus or better sleep habits or improved energy, but all those things happen as a side effect as a result of the one keystone habit. Some other common examples of keystone habits, CEOs will often talk about their daily meditation habit. If they get 10 or 20 minutes of meditation in, then the rest of their day flows more smoothly. Artists, really big on a daily walk. There are tons of famous artists. There's a great book called Daily Rituals that talks about the habits and behaviors of many famous artists and scientists. And it's interesting how many of them had a daily walk as part of their routine. But these are some examples of if you just do this one behavior, you can trust that it will ripple into other areas of your personal and professional life.